here we are at Sea of Book Fest, and I am with Katie Catugno, and I am so excited to be with her. I and, am so uh, excited to be here. It's, it's been awesome, and uh, and what a great thing to be able to interview you and to be able to, to meet you. Um, and this book festival has been awesome so this far. This book festival has been incredible. I've done a few festivals, and just I feel like this one was organized with such love. Mm -hmm. um, the people have been so friendly, and the organizers have been just so on top of things, and just like making sure that everybody involved has the best experience possible. I feel very lucky. And how have your panels been? My yeah. panels have been so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice, so they haven't been moderated. So mm -hmm. it's just us introducing ourselves and then kind of opening things up to the mm -hmm. audience and just kind of letting the conversation go where yeah. it goes. Um, and it, we've talked about some really interesting things that are both book related and not book related. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's been a really great mesh of personalities. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been really positive. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I, uh, I really enjoyed your book, How to Love. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> And uh, I haven't read 99 Days yet, but I'm actually looking forward to, to reading that. And this is I'm coming glad. from me, and I like, sure. you know, sci-fi and action yes. and adventure. And here's these love stories. Yes. And a lot of my kids, okay, so starting out, several of my kids were, were talking about your books, talking about 99 Days, talking about how excited they were about it. And so I said, you know, I've got to go read this thing mm -hmm. so that I can know what they're talking about sure. and because I'm going to get to meet you. <laughs> and so um, I read How to Love, and um, it was good. It Thank was you. really good and uh, full of the... One of the things I loved best about it was your character's voice. You really developed a wonderful character voice throughout that um, because she was true and she was real. And um, through the whole time, I, um, I could, it was delightful the way the character's voice played up. And, um, and the story was, was compelling and I was stuck in it the whole time. And, <laughs> and, um, and so I, it, it really delighted me. And so Thank maybe you. I'll read some more love stories I now. Love so you won me over. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about how you develop character, because I really loved your characters. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I started How to Love when I was 15. Mm -hmm. um, wow. So I, yeah, I worked on it on and off that one for, for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just kind of got used to living with these people, mm -hmm. I think. Um, they, uh, that book is very much a patchwork of like all of the things that I was experiencing in those 10 mm -hmm. years. Um, you know, I was like, I think it started because I wanted to write a book about a cute boy. I had mm -hmm. a lot of crushes on bad boys. Um, and then, you know, in mm -hmm. college, I took a history of jazz class, mm -hmm. and there is then, you know, uh, Rena's dad is a musician. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think it's a matter of kind of picturing your characters in situations that may not ever end up mm -hmm. on the page. Yeah. Um, just kind of, you know, what does a normal day look like for mm -hmm. them? What's in their refrigerator? Yeah. Um, how, you know, what do they watch on TV at night? It's just kind of a matter of living with these people mm -hmm. um, in uh, just kind of over a period of time, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were some times when I was really frustrated with her for choosing the bad boys. Like, don't do it! You've got good people around you. Uh -huh. but, but, you know, she won me over as well. And I like, you know, by the end I was like, okay, you can have your choices. You know, it was kind of like the, the way her, the whole thing is going on with, you know, some of her friends and family. Yeah. They had to sort of learn to accept her that she has to do the things that she has to do. She has to accept it. And she does make good choices in the end. I, I was doubting her. <laughs> I always say that the alternate title of How to Love is Jerks in Love. Yeah. Um, I am really interested in smart, complicated, mm -hmm. messy love stories mm -hmm. that are about imperfect people falling yeah. in imperfect mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not interested in like, you know, Prince Charming and the yeah. perfect happily ever after because I don't think... Because it's not real. Right. right? Mm -hmm. I think that relationships are hard work mm -hmm. and they, like, not everything clicks together perfectly mm -hmm. in the end. And I mean, my own love story is certainly complicated. The love stories of my friends are certainly complicated and those are the kinds of stories that to me are compelling and I think that appeal to even a reluctant sure. romance reader yeah oh absolutely <laughs> because it was it was real and authentic sure. um, and her her background and her family her mm -hmm. father is is very religious and I love how that like played out in her metaphors that she would <laughs> use for things yeah uh, she would she, you know you, you could sort of hear okay I've had this this past, and I have this heritage, and that plays through the, the way she talks the whole time, and the imagery she, she uses, and the sort of experiences she has, and yet at the same time, she's made choices that are her own, and her, her own sort of thing. Um, I love that. That was, that was great. Thank so, you so um, much. I've also heard a lot of good things about uh, 99 Days. Uh, I haven't read it yet, so would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, 99 Days is a love triangle book. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like love triangles are a trope that people often feel very strongly about one mm -hmm. way or the other, so sure. I do like to own that. It is a love triangle, uh, triangle <laughs> book, and I wanted to, the idea originally came from, I wanted to see if I could, if it was possible to write a true love triangle. Mm -hmm. um, 
if it is possible for a character to feel things, even if they're different things, in equal intensity for sure. two for two different people. Mm -hmm. um, so it's about that, but it's also about it's about first loves and second loves and girl friendships mm -hmm. and betrayals. And I think most importantly, um, it's about the double standards that we hold guys and girls to when it mm -hmm. comes to the choices that they make in sex and romance. Sure. Yeah, and that's a huge and very important uh, yeah. deal that we need to talk about. Absolutely, I think yeah. so. Um, so I think my main character in the book, Molly, um, she makes a lot of mistakes um, mm -hmm. that become very public. Um, but she's not alone in making those mistakes. It's very much a two to tango or three to tango situation. Mm -hmm. um, but she's the one she's that... She's the one held responsible. Yeah, she's the one that gets all the blowback and all the noise. Mm -hmm. um, and so I wanted to kind of explore A, what that feels like, B, where that comes from. Um, and yeah, just kind of how that would play out in a small town. Very cool. Well, I look forward to reading it. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, what do you sort of foresee for the future? Where, where are you going? Um, I am just finishing up uh, my third book right now. I can't talk a ton about it sure. um, yet, but I can say <laughs> um, it is it, it is a messy, complicated love story as mm -hmm. well. But um, it's a friendship book. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a messy. It's a messy, complicated love story between two best friends. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Cool. Well, uh, we're so thrilled to have you here. I'm and so thrilled so to be here. Thank you, you so much. The, and you're great to interview because you have so much energy. This is fun. It makes <laughs> me feel like I have more energy. All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, really this appreciate has been it. great. Mm -hmm. <laughs>